Hello, Gary County High School. I am so excited to meet all of you and to be able to say welcome to your new school year. And I realize that this school year doesn't look anything like what we're expecting, but it's going to be great. And I'm really excited to introduce all of our business education courses to you and to get you involved in everything that we're going to do. So although choices are being made for us that we're going to have to stay at home right now, that does not mean that we're not going to go ahead with your education. And we're super excited for all of you to join us on this trek through virtual learning through Garrett County High School. I'm extra excited because you apparently have joined a business education class. And what that means is that you're going to become part of my world and business education is something that I'm very passionate about. So I'm excited to walk you through the process of how business education works and what we can do for you and what you can do for us. So you can see the screen here with me. And I'm going to show you what all of the business education course offerings are. Those of you who are juniors and seniors are probably pretty familiar with this list. Uh, I am Tina Rogel and my cohort Emily Whitworth are the two business teachers that we have. And you can see here that we teach all of the courses that are on this list. Um, it is important for you to understand regardless of your grade that having a career pathway is a requirement for graduation here at Garrett County High School. And we are really excited if you're choosing the business career pathway. Um, in order to get a career pathway, you're going to have to have four complete credits in any one content area. And those credits can be earned either in business or agriculture, family consumer science, biomedical. Um, there are all types of career pathways that meet over at the Area Technical Center. Um, you can get a list of those. And today, what I'm going to focus on, though, is just our business education offerings for the pathways that we have because you're in my class and I want to keep you here. Um, the business education department at Garrett County High School has three specific pathways. We offer to you the e-commerce pathway and you can see them here on my list. E-commerce pathway, finance pathway, and the management pathway. And in each of these pathways we have a number of credits that are available. Uh, you have to take courses that equal up to four credits. Remember, we're on a trimester and every single class you take is worth one half credit. We have one exception in the business department and you can look on our list here and see that financial services is actually worth one whole credit and it's on the finance pathway. So whatever class you're in with me this trimester, you may be here for accounting. You may be here for ethical leadership. You could have financial services. You could have entrepreneurship A or you could possibly have personal finance. Um, whichever, it doesn't matter. We're going to have a great time, but you can look and see which one of the pathways that particular course is going to count for. For instance, if you currently are enrolled in ethical leadership, I'm going to highlight this row and show you how to read the, the graph. Well, I can't highlight it, but ethical leadership is here. It's offered um, to everyone. It says 9 to 11, but seniors can certainly take it, and some of you are seniors that are in ethical leadership. It's worth a half credit in the e-commerce pathway, a half credit in the finance pathway, and a half credit in the management pathway. So regardless of your pathway choice, your ethical leadership class is going to count for one half credit toward that. Now, you can take a look at these lists, juniors and seniors, and count the number of credits you've had. You can ask myself or Mrs. Whitworth, and we will be happy to tell you where you stand on the business pathway. If you are a sophomore or a freshman, you may want to look a little farther down on our list and actually look at the pathway progression. This says for you clearly the classes that we prefer you take or the classes that are available for each one of these pathways. And you can look there and see that yourself. Um, I'm going to have this particular document will actually be loaded to your Google Classroom, which you are currently involved with or you wouldn't be watching this video. So you can see how all of that aligns to you. So let's talk a little bit about what is going to be in your world this year. Um, you know you're in the business department. Uh, you're also at Garrett County High School, and Garrett County High School has a bell schedule. Even when you're sitting at home, you can still hear the bells ringing in your head. So you can see here from the bell schedule that we have first period, second period, third period, fourth period, fourth periods where we normally eat lunch. You're welcome to try that out at home if you like. Uh, fifth period and sixth period. And the reason I'm bothering showing you this 
Um, it looks like I have the club schedule pulled up, but the times for the periods are exactly the same. I'm bothering showing you this because this year your virtual learning is going to be very different than your NTI experience from last year. With our virtual learning, we're going to be checking in with you and you're going to be checking in with us and we're going to require some things from you that were not required last year. And I'm pretty excited about that because I miss seeing your faces in my class. I have a lot of really funny jokes that I'd like to tell and I have no one to tell them to. So um, I'm going to look at another document for you and with you here. It's called Garrett County High School Virtual Learning. And normally I wouldn't read bullet points because you're all young adults and I feel like you can read your own bullet points. But um, just as in a review, because I'm not sure how much information you were given at registration, I would like for you to know for sure exactly what the expectations are. And so um, let's read some bullets. Virtual learning will require students to log on and check two times a day. So you're going to have two different um, checks for attendance. The first one will be during first period and the second one will be during fourth period. So your first period teacher is going to be sending out a remind notice and you're going to be responsible for responding to that remind notice with here or present or, you know, I'm awake, whatever kind thing you'd like to say to your first period teacher. And you're going to have between 8 and 8.05, I believe is the time we set aside for that. And then your fourth period teacher is going to be sending you a remind notice as well. And that's going to be for the middle of the day. And when we get those notices back, we're going to record those in Infinite Campus and it will stand as your attendance. So if you're not up early enough to respond, you're going to be absent for first period. And if you're not up early enough or you're busy, to, too busy to respond fourth period, you're going to be absent for fourth period. And so these are times that we're wanting you to get adjusted to getting up, starting a routine, having a schedule. I'd recommend everybody get back in that mindset because we're not going to be on virtual learning forever. So I'll be excited to see all of you. The second bullet point says that the virtual learning week will consist of learning days, activity days, and assessment days. And I'm really excited about this because... I believe, juniors and seniors, that the schedule that we have set up for this is going to be very similar to what you're going to see at a college level. We're going to have a Monday, Wednesday, or a Tuesday, Thursday rotation. And Fridays will be reserved for assessments or remediation or whatever we need to do to make sure that you're getting all of the content points that we're trying to get to you that week. More of that information to come. The third bullet says teachers will teach live lessons on each learning day. So when it's a learning day for you, you're going to be logging in to your Google Classroom and you're going to click on a meet button and you're actually going to meet face to face with your teachers. Um, that's going to be fun. We want to get to know who you are and we want to get to know some personalities. So when you get back to school, you'll already have those connections, especially with people who haven't made connections in this school yet. This is going to be an important thing. Our fourth bullet says teachers um, will provide students with work individually on the activity days. So in a nutshell, you're going to be meeting with a group on maybe Monday, working Tuesday, meeting with a group on Wednesday, working on Thursday, and then having an assessment on Friday. That could be a possible schedule for you. And we're going to look at that specifically in just a second. Uh, the next bullet says each class period will require students to complete an exit slip determining their mastery of a target addressed each day. So in every single class on your Google Classroom, you're going to have an exit slip or some type of assessment. It may not actually say exit slip, but it'll be some type of assessment for feedback to make certain that you've logged in, you've done what you need to do, and you're moving on um, with the next content point. And that's real important to us. So we're going to, we're going to work for that this year. And the last bullet says that if you have internet issues, we're going to encourage you to put your Chromebook in offline mode. So if you're someone who lives where there really is no internet, I'm going to encourage you to reach out to me and I'll teach you how to do that offline mode if you don't know how. But that can be helpful to everyone and not just people who struggle with the internet. It could also be helpful, let's say you're going to go to your grandma's for three or four days and you are not going to have internet there because grandma and Wi-Fi don't go together. So um, that would be a really great tool for you to have to be able to download all of your work do your work while you're at grandma's, and then as soon as you hit Wi-Fi again, all of that work will automatically load for us and refresh into your drive. That's a really nifty feature. 
I'm hoping that um, all of you learn how to do that, but especially those of you who have spotty or questionable internet service for sure. Now, we're starting school on a Wednesday, just like we always do. So we're here on a Wednesday, the 26th. And what are we going to do on Wednesday, the 26th? Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, the very first uh, column here is going to be our Wednesday schedule, then our Thursday schedule, and then our Friday schedule. And here's the thing. The first week of school schedule is exactly the same as the other digital weeks of school schedule is going to be. So I'm just going to scroll on down to our regular full week of school. And I want us to look at this and make sure that we all understand what we're doing here. Make it a little smaller, maybe. Regular full week of school. We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So if you'll notice, every single day at 8 o'clock, you have five minutes five minutes to respond to your first period teacher for attendance. And if you don't respond within that five minutes, then you're going to be counted absent and there's really nothing we're going to be able to do about it. So please respond within five minutes. From 8 to 11, every single day of the week, you're going to be allotted activity time. So you're going to have 8 to 11 is when you're going to log in and you're going to do the assignments that are left for you in Google Classroom. Might be a form, might be an article to read, might be a chapter, might be some type of project you're supposed to be doing. Could be any number of things, but if you look here on Monday, your morning is to be spent on 4th through 6th period. On Tuesday, your morning should be on first through third period. On Wednesday, it goes back to fourth to sixth. So you see the every other day, and that's really important for us. So let's go down the Monday column. I find this interesting. For Monday, you're going to check in. You're going to do work from fourth to sixth period in the morning. Then at 11.15, you're going to check in for with your fourth period teacher for lunch. And when I say check in, what I really mean is your fourth period teacher is going to send you a remind, and you're going to respond to that remind with a here or present to make sure that they know you're here. But then from noon to two, that's the magic time. So your teachers are going to have two hours in the afternoon where they're going to be interfacing with you through Google Meet. That's going to be our whole job. So if you look at the fine print at the very bottom, and let me blow it up because, you know, the computer's small. So I'll blow this up and let you look at it. It says pretty clearly right there, first period is going to meet from noon to 1235. So if you're in my first period ethical leadership class, we have 35 minutes where you're going to be with me every single Monday and every single Wednesday. Okay. Second period is going to meet from 12.40 to 1.15, and third period will meet from 1.20 to 2 o'clock. Hopefully you got a copy of that at registration. It's okay if you didn't. I'm going to load one to the classroom, and you're going to have it. Speaking of the classroom, I want us to take just a short tour of the classroom, and that's going to give us some idea of how this will work. When you get on your Chromebook and you go to classroom.google.com, you're going to log in with your email, your student email. You've put the course codes in. Everybody's already received those. You've joined the classes, and you're, you're just going to look a whole lot like this. Only these are all my classes, and you have your own. I think I'll pick on accounting and go in here and just give you a little tour. In our Google Classroom that you all used last year, so you know how it works, you know that the uh, stream button at the top or the stream tab at the top, if you go underneath that, it's going to show you everything that's been added to your classroom in chronological order, so that's order of date. But if you go to the Classroom tab, it's going to look very different. And the Classroom tab is where your teacher is going to be able to assign things that would be a form or a sheet or slides or whatever they're wanting you to work on. And they can label it with different titles. So here in my accounting for resources, I already have Chapter 4 in there. We won't do that for a long time, but there it is. But I have important information loaded for you as well so you can see what's happening. What I really want you to notice, however, on this tab is right up at the top, under the word classwork, do you see the icon that says meet? This is the meet code for the class. So accounting is third period, which means that I'm going to be meeting with my accounting class on third period time slot on both Monday and Wednesday. 
So what's going to happen is you need to go into your Google Classroom at the time slot for the period that you need to meet. And when you get there, you're going to go to your Classwork tab and you just click on this little Meet. When you click on it, it's going to bring up for you the Google Meet and then you'll be connected live. If you click on that and you get an error message, it means that your teacher hasn't logged in yet. So give them a few seconds and click again because, you know, we're we're getting used to this new schedule, too. But I just wanted to make sure that everyone understood where that meet is. We're not going to need to send out meet codes or links or anything like that. If it is your time to be meeting with your accounting class or any other class, and I'll go back out and show you another one just so you can see the consistency. Let's say ethical leadership. That's my first period class. When it's time for me to meet with them, they'll go to classwork and they'll just click on this little meet icon right here and it'll put them to through a video chat for me. So hopefully everybody will get online and, and they'll be on board and we can all meet one another this very first week of school and get back to somewhat of a routine. I'm really anxious for that. I'm anxious to get to know all of you and I'm really excited about introducing the concepts of business education that you're not familiar with yet. So we're going to have a great time. Um, I'm happy to meet you, and if you have any questions at all, all you need to do is contact me. You can do that really easily. If you would like to uh, email me, my email address is tina.brogel at garrett.kyschools.us. If you want to call me, the phone number here at school is 859-792-2146, and I'm in extension uh, 6116, and I'll be happy to talk to you. Um, or you can send me a message inside the classroom. So you're welcome to do that as well. I'll be giving you more contact information, and I just am really looking forward to meeting you. I hope you had a good day, and uh, we're going to get busy tomorrow. See you later. Bye.